walking through the lean-to garage. Um, at the moment, it's just an accumulation of rubbish and stuff. That's uh, just an old wagon that we uh, we bought. It's going to become a sort of flower bed and decoration when we eventually get sorted out. Through the back doors into the little back paddock. I say little, it's actually quite a big paddock. Um, it's about uh, three, uh, two thirds of an acre. Um, it's very overgrown down the bottom. I've, I've cleared a fair bit, but you can't really appreciate it. This, there's an area down here that used to have a load of beehives. All this is grown over, but that's a level area down there. goes in about 15 20 foot to the boundary head or the boundary fence another stink tree to get rid of and another a lot of this wants just chopping down and clearing back I have noticed there is another walnut tree right up in the back corner so I'll clear all of this stuff here back to there give you a general view down the paddock. Good slope on it. <laughs> Makes you puff by the time you walk to the top. Right up the top, this is in a this is actually a neighbouring property that had a beautifully kept vineyard up until last year so I don't know what the story is there but I've never actually seen anybody here nobody lives in the house it's uh, abandoned but the vineyard was looked after um, so it's a bit worrying really what's something that happened to the person who used to look after it or I don't know so this is sort of basically the very top of the property. Um, all of this lot wants clearing down. There's no, none of these trees or anything spectacular so I'll probably cut these all down. Just leave the boundary trees. This is part that I've cleared, and in there, that's the vineyard, totally overgrown with the uh, stink or angel trees, whatever you want to call them. Don't find them any, anything angelic about them, apart from the fact they grow so bloody fast. Um, so they can all be chopped out uh, when I come to prune in February, hopefully. Um, when all the foliage has died off, it'll make it a bit of an easier job. It's back down. We've got a variety of little trees here, um, half a dozen plum trees, three or four apple trees, and down the bottom there's some hazelnut trees. I'll just give you a quick view of the, the valley. Basically there's some houses the other side of the valley, but we're the very last house in the village, or the very first house in the village I guess as you come up the hill. And back down.
Thank you.